Today is our annual OSU Turf Field Day where we uh, present our research to the community. We have two field days a year and we have a winter field day microdokium patch and then we have our summer field day which is our big event which is happening today. And it's the first time we're partnering with the Turfgrass Water Conservation Alliance. So this is our first time we're doing a two day field day. So today we're talking about all the research that we do here at the Oregon State University Corvallis campus a research station and then tomorrow we'll be going to the Turfgrass Water Conservation Alliance field day. I'm very excited for today. Uh, I feel very strongly about the Turfgrass Water Conservation Association because it brings the industry together. It brings companies together, breeders, university, uh, you know, municipalities, everybody to deal with the issue of water. What we've seen through trialing and, and through our cooperators is that uh, the difference between a drought tolerant and a conventional turf is uh, 30 to 50 percent less water. We've got several trials here looking at uh, different tall fescue and fine fescue cultivars and then various uh, cultural practices, particularly mowing and fertility requirements on the management of tall fescue. In the case of tall fescue, it is super drought tolerant and it is bulletproof. It is a great workaday grass. Tall fescues, you don't need as much fungicides to maintain them, and they also, both species can get by with a little bit less fertilizer. So they're kind of easy, more low maintenance grasses to take care of, and if you want to go ahead and fertilize them, then they're beautiful too. So they have, they, they fit a lot of different niches. So we virtually use no fungicides on our greens at Old McDonald, where on a polo golf course, you have to really use a lot of fungicides. It is such a good role player. Uh, you know, you can put it in blends. It, it interacts really well with Kentucky bluegrass. We found that. It is so versatile. Fine fescues are really underutilized, and um, they're such a great low-maintenance grass. There's such a great water use. They use less water, hard fescues especially, and they're easy to take care of. We foster a ground game. So we want to be able to play from 100 yards out on the ground if, if you want to. And it provides that ability to hit a putt from 100 yards if you want, uh, you know, play it on the ground, play Lynx golf. So how can we find ways to bring up the value and the use of turf grasses? Drought tolerance is a huge way. When people learn that they can use half as much water and still have turf coverage or even let it go dormant in the summer and it will come back, that just adds more value to the area, the landscape. The golf course can save money. You know, we talk about drought, we talk, we talk about water use, but what we're really thinking about is uh, stewardship. How can we best take care of our communities? How can we best take care of our, our environments? How can we keep our cities cooler in a more natural and sustainable way?